Hey everyone, how's it going? In this video, I'm going to attempt to do a ultimate guide on comparison over time. It is very common to look at trend over time and to want to understand how the current matrix in the current period perform against the previous time period. And in this video, we're going to take a look at how we can perform such analysis and how to do it in Tableau. So the first analysis I want to start with is to create a chart to compare the trend over different years. To look at trend over time, we will usually want to use a line chart. So let's first try to create a line chart. So what we will need is date and we will also need, let's say a matrix, let's use profit. Okay, and we will want this to be a line chart. So here we have our basic line chart. Now, the goal is to do a year on year comparison. So let's say I want to find if there's some sort of seasonality or pattern on the different months. So I will want to change this to a month. And this will give me all the month of the years. And the next thing is I want to see how the trend perform over different years. So the next thing I need to do is to bring in the date again. So let's take all the date. Now I put it into colors. And yes, we want a year. So this is fine. So now let's say we have a new requirement and we only want to look at the current year trend and the previous year trend. So what we're going to try to do is to maybe bring the year to the filter and we want to filter on the two years over here and we get our two years current year and previous year that works but of course we will always want to build a solution that is dynamic first let me introduce the parameter of report date so i'm going to use this as a reference to the current year this will be an easy fix so we just need to create a calculated field which will filter on the data on the recent two years so I'm going to use report date as a reference over here. So I'm going to take the check that the year of this order date is more than equals to this year minus one, which will be previous year and current year. And that the year is lesser or equals to the current year. Okay. And then we just need to drag this here and select on true. So now we will see that this will show 18 and 19, the current two years based on the report date. And if we choose say 2020, we will have 19 and 2020. So now let's say we have another requirement. We want to look at the differences between two periods. What is the percentage change from one period to another? So again, let's bring in our date. Let's again look at profit. So for the first method, we are going to use the Tableau default calculation. So all you have to do is click, right click on this and go to quick table calculation and select percentage difference. So what this will do is that it's actually computing across the table. So you'll compute against the previous cell to calculate the percentage difference. And now let's say we want to drill down into quarter on quarter. We can change this to quarter. So again, this will compare against the previous cell and compute the percentage difference. And of course, we can just keep drilling down to get the month on month and so on. Let's go back to our year on year comparison and let's take a look at what other table calculation option there is. So over here, there's also this year on year growth. When we click on this, you will see that the result is the same. So what it's doing is that it's also calculating the change against the previous year. But the difference here is that it is not comparing against the previous cell. On this year level, we can see it is giving the same result. But when we drill down into say quarter, what it's doing is that it's comparing quarter one of this 2019 against quarter one of 2018. So how can we validate that? Let's bring in the profit. 
and to validate this we're going to use our trusty calculator so let's take for example q2 2019 and we want to validate if this is comparing against q2 2018 so we have 16 390 divided by 12191 minus 1 so we have 34.4 percent over here so now let's take a look at what happens when we change this to percentage difference so now you'll see that this number has changed so we want to validate this again let's take the calculator 16390 divided by the previous quarter 11441 equals to this minus one so we have 43.3 percent which matches this value over here. Cool, so now we know that Tableau is doing the correct calculation. This works fine, but let's take a look at what are some of the flaws that we are seeing here. So first of all, we see that there is a blank column over here. And the second problem is that we need to bring the date into the level of detail. I will go through this in the next example. So what we may want to try to do is to hide this column. So maybe we will right click on this and click on hide. And this is not great because we have hidden the value Q1. So Q1 is hidden for the rest of the tables. But if we go back to here and we try to use the same method and hide it, it looks fine. So now maybe we have another requirement. We will want to only keep two years of data. So what we're going to try to do is to bring our filter again that we have created and select only two years. Now what happens is that 2019 now becomes blank. So what happens here is that we have filtered on the underlying data which means that 2018 data is not available to do this calculation. So with all these issues that we have seen, the solution is to just remove the first column. And what we want to do is remove it without filtering the underlying data. And to do that, we are going to make use of formula like last and first, which will help us with it. So let's recap. Our objective here is to show only two years of data and to be able to look at the percentage change for these two years. So we know that to calculate two years of data, we need three years of data. So the first thing is we want to be able to keep three years of data. So on a similar calculation as the two years of data, now we change this to minus two so that we can filter on three years. So now let's bring this in, select true. Now this is what we expect. We will only want two years of data, which is 2019 and 2020. But we are still seeing this blank column now because now 2017 data is not there to do this calculation. But anyways, we do not want to look at this 2018. So over here, what I'm going to do is use index to help me with it. It will work similar to using first and last. So I will only want to keep index where it is more than one. So let's bring this here and select true and there we have hidden our first column. So now let's try it with our report date parameter again. So let's say we change it to 2019. Now you see this changes to 18 and 19. So now we have a dynamic solution to it. Let's go back to the scenario where we are comparing quarter against quarter. And when we try to hide Q1, all of Q1 disappear. So let's expand this and see what happens. And you'll see that for 2017 Q1, it is hidden. And we can still see the Q1 for the subsequent years using this index method over here. And the last type of analysis I want to cover is period to date calculation. Again, it is very common to look at things like year to date, month to date, and how it compares against previous period. We have seen in Tableau how we can compare things like month over month, year over year, but what happens if it's specific periods? How are we going to do that? First, we need to learn how to calculate period to date calculation. What does that mean? So when we are looking at something period to date, it usually is something in the middle of the month. So we don't have the whole month result, but what is the result to date? For example, a month to date, when we select 15 October, it will mean it is the 1st October 
to 15 October and when we have year to date it will mean 1st January to 15 of October so how are we going to perform such calculation we are going to use a calculated view okay. so let's first try to create a year to date calculation so what we want to do is to check whether the date is in the same year as the report date so what we want to do is to check if the order date the year of the order date is equals to the year of the report date and with a condition that the order date should be less than or equals to the report date then i will take the profit and end so this will give us our year to date result Let's say we bring in the order date, we can see only 2019 has values and it should only have value for 2019 and up to October 15. Okay, so our calculation is doing it correctly. Let's now try to create month to date. So with the same logic, we want to do if month is the same then profit else n so for month to date we will want to do the same so we're going to take month of order date equals the month of this then we take the profit so now let's see what happens over here now this doesn't look right we have our month for all the different years so what it is actually doing here is that using the month calculation we are only calculating october month we are not taking into consideration of the year so that's why we are not getting the correct numbers so we will have to change our formula again and the quick way to take into account of year and month is to use date trunk so i will take month date and the same thing for the report date Great, now we only see our result on 2019 and let's check again in detail whether this is correct. So we should see only in the month of October. Let's scroll, scroll, scroll. Where is October? There we have October. And yes, we left out another condition, which is that this has also to be less than the report date. okay so let's see what happens now we got our calculation correct is from first to 15. great so now we have learned how to calculate this period to date calculation the next thing to do is how are we going to compare it against the previous period let's actually rename this we will want this to be current year and this to be current year as well so to do that, we just have to create another calculation for the previous year. So let's just perform this on the um, year to date calculation. So let's duplicate this and we're going to change this to previous year. And this year, now we want it to minus one. And for this part, we're going to use date add to minus one year from the report date. So we have year minus one okay so now let's do a check again so let's go to order date and let's see this is doing the right thing for 2019 we should see value on the current year and previous year we should see on 2018 so now let's create our comparison we will need to use another calculated view and let's call this current year minus the previous year so we're just going to take 
current year minus previous year and you will see that it is blank so what is this problem over here this is a very good example where tableau cannot aggregate column where there is now values so to resolve this what we're going to do is just add a bracket over here if now we're going to set this as zero And there we have our difference showing up. The last thing I want to highlight is the advantage of using this calculated field. So previously we have seen in this example where we need the dates here. And the flaw of using this is not just the missing columns over here, but also we need to have this level of details in the table so that Tableau will know how to calculate against the previous value on the table. Whereas using this method, I do not need to bring in the dates here and I can calculate across the different period. And I can rearrange this in any order and I'll still have the same value over here because it's not dependent on the window calculation in the table. With this, we are then able to create things like a KPI card. So I'll show you an example of what that is. And how come we cannot recreate that with having these dates over here? So let's say for example, we want to have a text to show what is the current year to date profit. And we also want to see what is the change with the previous year. So we bring this tool into detail. So over here, what I want to do is also change some formatting. So I want to add a plus in front of the positive number. So we can see whether this is a positive change or a negative change. Let's remove the decimal. Go and then we can go to the text and say things like um, year to date profit. And we have versus previous year. So then maybe we'll want this to be bigger. Let's do maybe 15. Okay. Oh, crap. So this is not correct. So we want this to be versus previous year under here. And this one is the year to date. And then let's maybe make this bigger. Great. So this is what I mean by having a KPI card. So if we have to do a window calculation and bring in the details of the year, we will not be able to achieve this. We can also add some color maybe based on the difference. So we can format this to use two and then we go to custom diverging. Okay. And zero. We want this to be minus one and one. So this will be maybe green. Okay. Now we will see that it is green when it is positive. So there we have, these are some of the ways of how we can perform analysis over time. If you found this helpful, do remember to like and subscribe to get more content like this. Yeah.